Hello and uh, welcome to Watchdog Wargaming. Um, this video is going to be a bit of a strange one, but bear with me and just, uh, you'll, you'll know where I'm coming from. So, um, I will talk about sort of what's happening um, with Watchdog Wargaming, what's happening with uh, me in re real life, and just give you a bit of an update on some of the stuff that um, I, I, I've done recently. So, um, about six months ago, um, I was um, working for a defense company where I had um, basically for a long time was um, being harassed and bullied. Um, uh, I put up for it for so long and then there was one instant that just basically flicked a switch in my head, red mist. Um, I had a choice, I could have uh, punched the person's light out or as I did, decided to uh, grab my uh, notebook and everything else and just walk out of a meeting and basically went off with work-related stress. Um, the the instance um, basically started off my PTSD that I had locked away for many, 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 many years and and things that I forgot about suddenly came back with a vengeance, um, having bloody, bloody, not, you know, bad nightmares, seeing things that wasn't there, smelling things that wasn't there. Um, yeah, I was, I was in a, a bit of a mess, to be honest. Um, I think my dog had never been walked so much in his life. <laughs> um, my wife, uh, well, fair dues to her, she's. She she knows she knows what my mood swings are over the uh, up and down over the years, you know, the old anxiety, impression, and everything else. But she brought me back uh, back online. Um, I, um, I I was not well for a couple of a uh, couple of months. Um, yeah, I did put a grievance in uh, against the the one of my line managers for harassment and bullying, which was um, upheld. Uh, and then unfortunately two weeks later after um, that um, notice of um, being upheld um, uh, I was given my notice for redundancy, redundancy nobody else in the department just me so yeah you know make of that as you wish um, I've got my union looking into it and this this thing's going on behind the scenes <clears throat> but like I said it started off a lot of problems um, I back and forth to the doctors um, I spoke to combat stress, which very again, it was. I was a bit apprehensive about phoning them up at first, but I phoned them up. I had a good old chat, and it was it was good to talk to somebody that was. Um, I think they were used to speaking to service people. Uh, you know what they say, where they act, and everything else. Um, I got some good friends, good mates, and uh, you know, sort of um, uh, had a chat with them, um, and again. Um, Simple things. I know, you know, I, I I go on about models for heroes and stuff like that. And certain things I did was was go back to making models and stuff like that. Anything that could distract me from the uh, from the incident. And and I think it take me a long time, but I'm now back in in a, in, a, in a good place. I've gone through the you know why me, you know, angry sort of angry at the world, angry at individuals, and now come up the other uh, other side. Um, there's still lots of things going on and um, what I found that I got myself into a good place then we had a grievance meeting and I was in a bad place again and then it got in it going on but that's all now past and past um, today I had my second uh, job interview so uh, fingers crossed it's just a quite a positive one if I don't get it it's a good experience it moves me on to something else I said after after 14 years of uh, um, sort of uh, in one position and sort of interviewing people it's nice to actually be not strange I should say to be interviewed in uh, on the other side of the table and actually being interviewed um, lots of things have changed so it was it was good so uh, we'll see see what happens on that and I've got a few more uh, jobs uh, coming up um, um, yeah so that's and as I said as a, as a result of that I haven't been in sort of a bit of a um, let's do YouTube videos and stuff like that. I just, it's trying to focus on certain things and um, stay positive, uh, which I've tried to. As I said, it's uh, it's been a bit of a rocky ride. Um, I'll probably worn out the do uh, paws of me the dog Monty. He was, a, was usually by my feet, but he decided to uh, disappear. Um, but yeah, so 
it's been a it's been a weird five months uh, and now all is over I think the world is now off my shoulders I want to move on to something bigger and better this, and so perhaps this redundancy was a uh, is a blessing in disguise because uh, it's um, very I've come out of a very very toxic work environment um, the thing I'm concerned about is I've lost I've let I've lost some very very good staff and and some of my staff have been left in in a in this toxic environment where I'm a, I'm still a wee bit concerned about them you know I shouldn't be but that's the way I am and and some of them are ex servicemen as well so uh, what I've done is just made sure that they have someone to talk to and someone to go to that's ex military that the um, and in the management train so to speak uh, that they can go to if they start having issues so I have moved on. I'm now back into doing uh, YouTube videos, hence why I wanted to sort of have, a, have a chat with you today, to just to basically explain what was going on and why sort of the bit of a uh, bit of a gap. Um, just trying to get that mojo back to actually doing things. I've done, <coughs> excuse me, um, lots of painting just to try and get rid of the, the plastic crack mountain. Um, my MVA, I was, uh, I finished off. Um, but um, I get sidetracked quite easily. So I did a lot of reading up on some of my old things and, uh, you know, trying to get back into rapid fire again. And, uh, and I've dug out all some of my old figures and I was having a look to see what I've, um, what I was missing. So, I've, uh, so I've been going mad with the 3d printer. So it's um, stuff that I printed out in, um, so for instance, that's a, that's a 172nd Lloyd carrier. Um, I decided to print it out in uh, 1 140. Was it 140? Yeah, 148 scale as well. So it's uh, because a lot of my figures are vehicles are 148, 143rd. And again, you can't have. Uh, um, uh, so these those figures, I think they were off Thingiverse, which were. Um, from Bergman, if I remember rightly, and I've just um, sized them up from um, 15 mil to 133rd, uh, sorry, 143rd stroke 148. Um, and again, it's, um, I had um, signed up for the Kickstarter by for Operation Plunder by uh, RXK Miniatures, and um, when I was looking at it, so I've um, uh, I, I know they did a, a 56 millimeter um, six pounder, um, but again, I've uh, I've scaled it up so that's now matches the rest of my uh, my vehicles, my anti uh, anti tank guns. So um, the plan is, and the plan was, is that um, in here you've got um, in this book, you've got the um, there's a little example of a uh, the battle of where has it gone? Yeah. Moen, Battle of Moen, and it's got the all backed for the German forces and the British forces. So the on the German side, I was missing quite a bit, and uh, on the British side was just the the toes. So um, on the German side, um, I've now got um, a number of st stayers, the ha horches um, uh, cars. Again, I um, went OTT and uh, instead of actually staying at one scale, I scaled it up. So that's um, I think it's a one forty third, um, all hollowed out and everything else. So it's um, yeah, moment of madness. And then um, I, for some strange reason, I don't have any Nebelwerfers in one seventy second scale. So I printed some out, and they're from uh, I think they were from Bergman ones, uh, and increased it to um, 148 scale as well so um, the only downfall with print, uh, printing all these things these figures out is that you've got to paint them so that's where I am at the moment so what I want to do is to do a um, bit of a painting tutorial, tutorial or just an overview of how I do it uh, just going to be battle, battlefield ready as you can see I've already started um, spraying I just sprayed green the uh, the, the Lloyd carriers and that just gives me a bit uh, uh, st a starting base that's my sort of my undercoat um, my go-to for 
things like that. I don't know if it's to say it's um, Halfords camouflage spray painting green ultra matte. Great for starting for military vehicle, uh, British military vehicles, bronze green. Uh, and then on the on the G on the German side, uh, I did a couple of Maltiers as well. Um, is the same from Halfords is the khaki ultra matte, and that's good for a Dunkel Gelb. So it gives me um, a few more things to do. So yeah, so that was the madness. So it was to do uh, rapid fire reloaded in uh, 20 mil, but also um, I've got enough figures using all my bolt action stuff to do it in 28 millimeter. So that's the plan. And at some point at a um, at a show uh, in the near future, I may uh, um, put on that uh, put on a show for that or display for that or participation game. I'm sure there's lots of people out there know more rapid fire more than I do um, yeah it's it's been says they've been it's been interesting and I've just tried to keep myself focused on positive things and model making is definitely positive and says so, so, no I am I do oh, I haven't done for a long time was basically I do support models for heroes that used to run a group uh, but unfortunately now I've left that, that particular location um, I will be looking for um, another one sort of to start up in, um, um, in North Wiltshire. So it's um, probably around the Marlborough area. There's a couple of places I'm, I'm in conversations with at the moment, but once I get a confirmation, um, we'll see. Um, you know, I can't promise anything, but it's helped me. And I know over the past, I've seen people um, that model making has helped and and this is, it is a, it's an amazing it's an amazing thing and I know um, it was actually quite funny when I was speaking to um, one of the one of the various doctors to speak to he said oh what, what are you doing and uh, I said well I'm actually model making and he went uh so I explained to him and he said oh right I see what you mean no that's that sounds that sounds very very promising so um, I've I've actually sent him all the details. So it's um, so if he has any uh, contact with anybody from sort of uh, that serviceman or emergency services in the future, I think Malcolm and the um, uh, is it the um, uh, models for heroes lot are going to probably get a notification from them. But again, it, it's it, it, it's helped me out of a bit of a bind. Um, I, I, I don't know as I said people have said a few comments about you always seem to be happy but yeah it's one of those things that you you hide a lot and so sort of, um, but it's it's difficult my you know I've sometimes it's been a bit um, walk around eggshells around me but we're, 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 we're getting over there we're getting over it so what else I'm working on um, I've um, so all those who did the the, uh, the war gaming survey recently had an opportunity to um, to fill in that. I think you got uh, access to a free uh, paraffin figure with um, that was setting the pigeons off. Um, <clears throat> that's actually something I'm working on at the moment because um, I've I don't know if you can see this, but um, yeah, I've done the trousers, done the jacket, just just have to do the camo at the moment. But um, it, it's the sculpt is interesting because I haven't seen one like that before. Um, <laughs> being a bit of a rivet counter when it comes to military stuff, I'm, uh, I'm like, mm, with the webbing, you sort of, you, uh, the, the water bottle's quite large, but I'm thinking perhaps it might be a medical one or, or extra water to feed the pigeon. But uh, yeah, so, but and it is a good, it's nice sculpt. And so I'll, um, I'll finish off the camo on it as well. Again, I've, I, printed off two so one I can actually have a practice on and then two I can put it on there but I know there's some some pretty good people um, on YouTube that have done um, um, they've done um, they, they've, done, they've done good good videos on how to, to, to paint camo but uh, I'm gonna have a go at myself you know see what I can do um, it's all, all good practice uh, what else did I do um yeah I I was also have been reading upon um, uh, with with it's of the uh, with sep September and you got Market Guard and the stuff like that. I was looking at sort of some of the rapid fire um, scenarios for um, for um, for thirty core uh, and um, 
uh, and some of the guards division the, uh, units as well so again what i've what i've done is printed off a couple of the um, the uh, sort of lorries the three ton lorries as well for moving as prime movers for the uh, the infantry um <sighs> Got a little scout car, so I can put Vandal the area in there as well. What his name is, and I've got a, a stag hound as well. Um, the stag hound, I think, was ooh, three. Um, I'll have to come back on that one. This is I can't, it's it's another one that I signed up to an S, um, STL file recently. I'll put I'll find the details and I'll put it on there in one way or another. And then there was uh, the final one was meant to be an um, AEC armored car. Uh, it's, it's the Lamarck three, but this is from uh, 3D 3D breed. It was off one of their um, um, Eighth Army Kickstarters type thing. Um, so the, this is not the the later heavy one. This is the light uh, the, the the first one. So it's um, uh, it's as I say I'm just going to make do with that. But it'll paint up nice. And so again, I I, I Downsize this from 156 down to 170 second. Uh, details is, is lovely. You know, it's been hollowed out and everything else, so it's um, that should paint up get, get, get nicely. So it's um, oh, again I said I finished off my. Uh, um, let me see if I can get that. He's not coming on. Like okay, well, that was one of my um, MVA that I finished off. So. That's a bit of an update on basically what's going, what's been happening in my life. Um, I'm back on the back on the road, uh, looking for sort of uh, um, never been unemployed in my life before. So come out of the military straight into a job. That was that was that was that was that was down to good luck and good timing. Um, interesting. Never been to a job centre before. Now have. Uh, so that was an experience I have. I, I never knew that job centres had to have um, security guards. So that that was something interesting. Um, but back onto the models. So again, if you see anybody struggling with um, any mental health issues, uh, especially you know uh, military people, tell them don't uh, not to be afraid to speak to combat stress you got some great people at the other end of that telephone will listen to you even if you just want to offload and waffle to them they'll listen to you and signpost you or whatever um, speak to your GP um, and you know do what do things that you like um, model making again model models for heroes model making they're onto it they're onto a sort of a winning winning thing there it's that's that's a positive thing that's um, I at first didn't want to do but I forced myself to get back into it get back into it get back into it um, I walk with a bit a biff stick anyway because I've got a dicky legs but I I went out with the dog more than I ever did as well you know put the will to right speak to the dog and uh, that that was great but um, as I said was if if you're if you're in a position where you think that you're getting bullied and harassed don't be afraid to to stand up to them um, it's took a long time for me to realize that I was getting bullied and harassed uh, and and you know if I had to do it all again I would I said these bullies are cowards and just think because they're a senior line manager to a to you they can speak to you and and do things speak to you in you know certain ways and you know, and undermine you at all levels that's 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 no way to work you, you, you don't want to work in toxic environments like that so report it you know like me i got made redundant but if if that happens it happens but i um i'm now out of that environment moving on to something bigger and better uh, like I said, back into it, uh, interviews, um, and we, yeah, we're moving, we're moving on. So that's basically where I am at the moment. So thanks for joining me. It is really, really appreciated. That, um, as I said, I noticed the amount of subs is going up, um, even once I've been been away, uh, which is brilliant. Um, what I want to do is I did actually start getting a bit of gizits in for individuals because. 
um, you know, I'm not sponsored by anybody, but over the years I have collected a, a few bits and bobs that, um, are, are, like I say, are gathering dust and would probably be better in your on you know on your painting table and stuff like that so what i was going to set was a bit of a bertie bonus that if we get to fight uh, 500 subscribers or even a thousand there's um, i've got lots of uh gizzets that i'm quite happy to to send out to individuals and um you know for, um as as a thank you uh and also sort of um um you know, thank you for supporting my channel and something that perhaps will help them with, um, with you know, sort of moving on about something else. However, that, that's it. So um, thank you, time much appreciated. And um, if you do have any problems and you want someone to speak to, I'm quite happy here. Just send me a PM. I'll have a natter with you. And as I said, uh, um, I can sign post. Um, yeah, it's good to talk. So, uh, you know. You be good to yourself and uh, I'll speak to you very, very soon. Take care. Bye for now. Squad morale restored.